The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 is just around the corner and we want to keep you up to date with everything we have found out so far. Now growing up I watched a lot of TV. I wasn't quite the couch potato I've become during the pandemic but my dad and I watched a lot of TV and one of our favourite shows was Star Trek. I loved Deep Space Nine, he loved Voyager but one thing that always struck with me was the tech. Imagining what they had and if we would ever see tech like that in our future. So, the first time I saw the Samsung Galaxy Flip, it transported me back to my childhood. I was holding a tricorder. The first time I saw a screen bend, it blew me away. Now, is it perfect? Of course not. Now, many have tried to jump on the bendy screen. I mean, I'm old enough to remember the original Razer phone. I had one. I wanted the new version to be good. It just wasn't quite there. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. Samsung's offering, on the other hand, is good. It's still a luxury, but holding it in my hands, it brings me back to what I dreamt of what we would have in the future. Looking to the near future for a change, Samsung is ready for a refresh with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Yes, Samsung is skipping straight to 3, with the Galaxy Z Flip 5G counting as number 2, which I'm not angry about as Samsung gets the naming in line with their Fold series. We are expecting the Galaxy Z Flip 3 to be announced with a slew of other products at the Galaxy Unpacked event on the 11th of August. In one of the worst kept secrets from the event date in living memory, but when it will actually be released for sale, it's still a well kept secret. Some speculate it could be released on the day of the event, whereas I join others in expecting the release date to be the 27th of August, but this is just speculation at the moment. As far as price, there were too many rumours flying about, each with different pricing to really say who we believe. One good bit of news is nearly everyone is reporting the price will be lower. The 5G version was 1500 and we've seen reports of the Flip 3 being just over 1000. I'm not sure if it'll be that low, but it is positive signs of the phone becoming more of a phone for everyone. We are expecting dual cameras on the front, a 12 megapixel main and an ultra wide similar to last year. Very same same. But what I am expecting some improvement in is the screen by the cameras. Last year it was just basically pointless. It was a novelty. If Samsung can make this useful, it will be a massive tip. Samsung has also applied for a trademark for the term armor frame. No real idea yet what it means, but it sounds cool and hopefully will make its line of folding phones more durable. While Samsung has done a rubbish job of keeping its event secret, it's done a great job of keeping the specs of what we will see at the event a secret. As far as what's inside, we really don't know. Most likely a Snapdragon 888 similar to the S21 lineup, a 120Hz display and everything else is a mystery for now. I will be recording a short video straight after this on what I want to see on the Galaxy Flip. So get liked and subscribed for that and I'll see you next time.